Okay, hello, hello. Welcome to Horror with Marchese and Buller with Gary Buller and William Marchese. And today is going to be a little different. We're going to talk about some video games. Uh, mm -hmm. Gary was telling me, you, you said, you're saying you were playing some uh, games recently? Yeah, sure. I, I've mentioned the game before on, on this show. It's called Beyond um, I've downloaded it a while ago, but I've not really played on it too much. And today um, I was looking after the girls and I thought they were playing on the carpet and I thought, let's treat myself to some video gaming because since I started writing three years ago I've hardly touched uh, my Nintendo Switch I've yeah, hardly touched yeah. it I'll get, you know I feel guilty for doing it you know when I'm when I'm yeah, playing yeah. games and thinking I could be writing now I've got an Nvidia Shield Telebox on it there's a service where you can live stream um, computer games yeah um, from Steam yeah. bought you on my Wi-Fi from a month or two ago and because I, I saw it and I really like the idea of it it's like this um, it's Zelda meets uh, Corpse Party, or Zelda meets um, uh, Survival Horror. So if you can imagine like a, an isometric view game where you wander around this Japanese village. Uh, it's very cartoony, very kind of cutesy. Like manga or like the... Um... A little bit like manga. I mean, I'll, I can sort of post some pictures, I'll send you some pictures to post really really cool the mechanic is you've got a torch and i've only discovered this today because i once sort of got into it properly today and you sort of as you're walking around this village in the in the dark there's no one else around um and where your torch touches if there's a ghost there you can see it and when, as soon as you move your torch away you can't see the ghost so the, the left control control sticks moves you around and the right control stick moves your torch um, so, you, so you're moving around, looking around with this torch, and you got to avoid these sort of ghosts. And some of them are really creepy. Some of them are well, like, like real, almost yeah, like real. Uh, Luigi's Mansion with the flashlight. Yeah, yeah, just like the flashlight mechanic is very, very similar to that, but the ghosts a bit more sort of ring, you know, rather than neon ghosts you sort of saw in Luigi's Mansion. They're quite creepy. Is it 3D and or is it top down? It's it's isometric, uh, two dimensional, mm. um, but it's, it's quite cartoony, and there's something. And you, you pick up little clues and little letters, a little bit like what you do in Zelda, and it tells a wider story. Yeah. And um, it, it, there's something very, very dark going on because at the beginning of the game, you your dog gets hit by a, a car. Um, you return back home and your sister's there and she's, she says, oh, I'll go out and try and find his body. And she never returns. Hmm. So you go out and you find a shoe and stuff and there's something really dodgy going on. And I've really enjoyed it so far and I'm up to, I think it's like a mini boss type thing. It's like Samus or whatever she's called, not Samus. Samara is it from uh, Ring. It's like her, she's like this, oh, this ghost with yeah. like long hair and you've got to sort of, you're in this rice field and you've got to sort of move around trying to avoid her. The, another mechanic that you got is you can run. Uh, there's like this little run meter at the bottom. Yeah. But when, when ghosts come nearby, your ability to run shortens. You get you get too frightened to run. Oh yeah. So, so um, and you can tiptoe and stuff like that and hide in bushes as well. So there's there's no weapons. You know you can't kill these things. You, you just got to sort of avoid them and be quite clever about it. it almost um, sounds like that that game. Um... Finger. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No. <laughs> what's what's the one um, with where he's walking around the house? Hitman. No, it's like a, you you have to hide from this like monster type thing. Oh, it's ringing a bell. You know what I'm talking about, right? One called Clockwork or something. No. On the Super Nintendo. The, the, that, that was one. Yeah. No, this one's 3D. Thing. This one's almost like Resident Evil, except you have no guns. You you're just walking around. Oh right, okay. Yeah. Eh, forget yeah. about it. Yeah. But anyway, it's really really good. I'm up to this boss, and it's what it, over here. It's almost half eight and just before I came on I was playing it still and my other half was like are you going to be getting off that anytime <laughs> soon <laughs> this game it's so you stream it through Steam do you have to have your computer on or are you streaming it directly from the service I've got uh, that one of those Android boxes it's uh, called Nvidia Shield and it's got a service on it called GeForce Now mm. and what it does is it's, it's an Android box but it's got the same processor as the Nintendo Switch and what you do is, uh, you can access your Steam account. But that's your this. tablet you're talking about. No, it's, it's a, a, a TV box. It's plugged into my television. Oh, okay, and then the tablet connects to that. Uh, no, 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 the tablet. I have, There is an NVIDIA Shield tablet, and I have got it, but it's upstairs and I hardly use it oh, these days. Oh, I see, I see. Well, this, this is just a box plugged to my TV, 
and you've got a, the controller's a little bit like an Xbox controller. Hmm. In fact, it's almost identical with the same buttons and stuff. And what you do is you're actively accessing your, your own Steam account and playing your Steam games that you've bought via a PC server somewhere in Germany or if you were playing it, you'd be you'd be in California or something. You know, you got like a like a server, a GeForce server there. So, with like, say, these... say with me, I have a Steam account, right? And I have like Grand mm-hmm. Theft Auto Four. Yes. If I had one of those boxes or the Nvidia Shield, I can play it directly from that device. Like, it'll stream, sort yes. of like the PS Now thing, where you can stream yeah. the games. Oh, exactly. Because so, it used yeah. to be that you had to have a PC and you could stream from the PC. Yeah. But yeah. Now no, it's exactly. yeah. Oh yeah, wow. Exactly. It's a nice service. It's really, it's really good, and at the moment it's free. I don't think it will be eventually, but it, it's been this way for well over a year. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, it should be sort of free if you think about it. You're buying the game still. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, it's, it's fantastic because there's no latency, you know, and because the controllers are Wi-Fi controllers, they're not Bluetooth, it's, you know, the speed of reaction to what you're doing is immediate. You don't feel any delay oh yeah you know, like lag or anything yeah yeah lag even though you're streaming it it's, it's instant it's fantastic man and the great thing about steam is you can buy steam games or steam code vouchers on ebay for like half a quarter of the price of what you pay you know rrp for them on the steam store you know i bought yonawari for i think it was four pounds which is what eight dollars or something six dollars yeah whereas it retails on the nintendo switch for Thirty pounds, and I'm getting the same experience. Wow. So it's it's well worth doing. It's something to think about. The only downside is the Nvidia Shield's 150 pounds. Mm, mm. Uh, so is that's what two two fifty dollars? Yeah. Well, I mean, I got Shield on my, I got the uh, Steam on my computer, so I I can yeah. play it off of there too. But then it uses the processor, like that's streaming, so it's not using the the power. No. Yeah. So it's it's not not at all. The only thing is, I don't what I don't like about PC gaming is having to use the mouse and the keyboard. I, I really can't get used to that. I know oh people no, I, do. I plug in. I, I have a a, a game uh, controller. Yeah, yeah. And in most modern PCs, you can actually use an Xbox controller as well, can't you? Yeah, yeah. I believe. Even the even the PS4, they, everything is all compatible now. Even with the with the Switch, I believe. I saw this mm-hmm. guy using all different types of controllers uh, because it's Bluetooth. Yeah. So they yeah. so you can connect pretty much anything, but yeah, that's interesting, and that's going to be the show for today. Uh, if anything, please like and subscribe if you if you like what you heard, and uh, let us know in the comments if you know you want to hear anything or you want us to review anything or what have you. You want to hear more of the uh, the sensor dog? There's going to be more of him. Yeah, there's more. Let us know. Yeah, I think that's up to Gary, but. <laughs> 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 but I have a uh, a GameFly account. I can you know I can order a game if you want to review, or Gary mm-hmm. has his you know his Steam, and, and we'll mm-hmm. uh, we'll look into it, or we'll look up yeah. any questions you have. We'll talk to you next week. Yes, or goodbye, actually, children. actually next next episode because next knows? episode. Well, yeah, there's gonna be yeah. What, what day are we today? We're Wednesday today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. Sensor dog. Yeah, there's more. Yeah, I think that's up to Gary, but.